Your bald head. Your bald head's like a fucking flashlight. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I can see my own reflection in it. The, le the baldies with bell sprouts. The ball sprouts. <laughs> the ball sprout. The bald sprouts. <laughs> uh, tackle! I. Level 7. Uh oh. Wait, what does that do again? Okay. Oh, that won't matter, because Vine Whip is physical, you fool! I hope I can get, can uh, beat the gym leader. Hi. May not have enough. Tackles left. And I can't poison anyone either. Hoot Hoot himself, well. Mareep, stand by for battle! But man, I had a lot of fun in, uh... Near Replicant. Getting that final ending, though, was a really annoying. You have to play up to a certain point. That was really annoying. And also, Near Replicant, yes, your trust is real. But, yeah, <laughs> that probably goes up next year. For I fucking know. 2025. I actually know. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this TM. However, you should take, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Paul used an escape rope. With an evil smile! Give me that escape rope. Oh, I can't wait to play some... To do my first ever Nuzlocke. Alright, wise one, what do you have to teach me? So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon Threat test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. The ties that bind. Here we go. Elderly. Send out Bellsprout. Chikorita, stand by for battle. Use Tackle. Pwah. I thought you would be higher leveled. I thought you were 8 or 9. Alright, this is not going to be too much of an issue then. That's why I need, but that's why I thought I needed three or six for him, because of the fact that um, I thought it was like level eight or nine. Forgot it was level seven. Oh well, bye, Bell Sprout. More like a bye, Sprout. Good job, Chikorita. I'm proud of you. Hoot hoot, eh? Well, Chikorita, return. Mareep, stand by for battle. Use Thunderbolt! Which originally would be Thunder Shock, but still. Every time I used Thunderbolt, it would have been to Thunder Shock. Oh, barely made it to level 11. You see how slow that went? Oh, I forgot there was something I needed to do. I'm so stupid. I'll do it after this battle. Alright, I'll do it after this battle. It's been, it's been so long since I've done this. It's been so long since I've... Might have been Pokemon White. Since I've done this. Tackle. Now we can triple tackle. Growth, eh? Well. Tackle again. And then we do another good old-fashioned tackle. And now we're out of tackle. We need to visit the Pokemon Center. Bam, level up, beautiful. I had more tackles the first time I went through this, so... I don't know what happened when I did it on my own. Ah, excellent. Yes, my Pokemon are excellent. Chikorita is excellent. Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. 
This is a it is a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Thanks. I'm not gonna use. I might use it. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. This is why you people fucking love that Pokemon to death, don't you? The music in here reminds me of the Battle Frontier. I think it was the Battle Arena. There you go. We did it, we got it. Awesome. Now, Chikorita, you at level 13 will be taking a back seat to my Marip. And then after that, I need to use nothing but Chikorita to kind of get the levels balanced out. But I remember the level balancing did not really happen until after I got my second batch. Because I, for the first two gym leaders, Marip is going to be my queen. And also the rival battle that's upcoming as well in Azalea Town. Because that's also where Chikorita is useless. Where the fuck is Chikorita actually useful? All oh, right, Kanto. Against Misty and Brock and Lieutenant Surge. Ah, well. Doesn't really matter what starter you pick. The first hurdle is always the hardest. And I have Mareep in order to be able to take on that hurdle. So we shall be taking on the Violet City Gym right now. Gym guy, speak to me. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you believe, then a championship dream can come true. I already have a cha championship dream. And it will be coming true, you're right. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. That's why I have Marip, the electric type. Fight me, mate. Get your birds. I can't believe how ridiculously high it is. But from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you... Good enough to face Fulk. I am. I am definitely. My Mareep is definitely good enough to take on Faulkner. Don't you worry about that one. Thunderbolt! See ya. This can't be true. Ah, it can, and it is. And it also will be. Oh, see. <laughs> yeah, that's what we have to be dealing with because we're not uh, playing this legally. Oh, you some kind of big shot. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on. Sm are you, are you are you threatening to kill me? What's wrong with you? Rod? What's wrong with you? Should I call Officer Jenny over here? I I'll phone her right now. I'll I once again forgot to do it. Okay, okay, after this battle, after this battle. I swear after this battle I'll do it. Even though it's annoying because it's the Soul Silver Pokedex entries. It's the Pokedex entry from Soul Silver and I can't switch it to Hard Gold. Fuck. I hate that about the data decks that I'm using as my Pokedex. I hate that I can't. Ah! Alright, alright, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. We're going to the Pokedex. Uh, I will show you the real- oh, lord. Here we go. Chikorita, the leaf Pokemon. Its pleasantly aromatic leaf has the ability to check humidity and temperature. A sweet aroma gently wafts from the leaf on its head. It is docile and loves to soak up sun rays. Alright, Murray, where are you? On this dex. There you are. Ah, still soul silver, fuck. Marie, the wool Pokemon. Its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. If static electricity builds in its body, the, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Shocking! Isn't it? You. I'm Falconer, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. 
I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Is it an insult? If it's true. Yeah, I'm definitely reusing titles from fucking uh, Soul Silver, dude. Clipping Wings was this title. Yeah, I'm definitely reusing titles from Soul Silver. I don't care. Veggie's dead because I now have Thunderbolt, so I'm way more powerful. Actually, in Pokemon, uh, when I played on my own, I beat Falcon with Chikorita. The wind is finally with us. Marie actually got knocked out by Pidgeotto. Because of Pidgey's constant sand attacks. God, that Pidgey was annoying. But now Mareep did it on her own. And actually reaches level 13, which she didn't do before. Stop! Did you fucking level up again? I understand. I'll bow out gracefully. I'll bow out gracefully. Good job. For pity's sake, my dad's Jerry's bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat, alright? Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Sever badge. Good job. With that badge, Pokemon including trade at up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash. Anytime outside of battle, once you get it, after you beat Whitney. And I got TM51, which is Roost. Finally, this idiot actually gives a flying type TM because before he gave Mud Slap. By using a TM, Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can only be used once, which is not the case anymore, but now it is again, which is fucking annoying. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead, make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest the Zaylia Town. I'm going to train harder to become the greatest bird keeper of all. Well, I feel like you need to compete with someone named Toby for that title. <laughs> nice battle, keep it up, and you'll become the ch uh, you'll be the champ in no time at all. I technically am already a champ, but it's gonna take me a while because I'll be a champ in Alola only. Hello, Shadow. We've discovered something. The details are well. I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant at Pokemon Mart in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up the egg? No, I don't want to do that. But I must. Long time no see, Shadow. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. No. I'm still saying no. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while... Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Shadow. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. And so I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that po a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you. Please take care of it. Let me just uh, fix this mistake. There we go. We got repels. We got repels. Wonderful. You love to see it. All right, let's box this idiot. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't yet. Me, oh my, that egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do. Do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? No. Counting on you? No. No. Togetic sucks. Well, maybe not in this game, but definitely did back in the day. And then that happiness evolution. Ugh. God awful. Wait, do I do I still have a Pokemon that evolves through happiness? Well, I think I do actually. Let me just move. Pretend that we never got it, alright? Pretend we never got it. We're not asking that fucking egg. Now to put Chikorita back in the front slot where she belongs. You'll be looking at that cute little pair for the rest of your life. Okay, maybe not now.
Yeah, there are a lot of titles here that I want to reuse, so I'm gonna retitle the whole Let's Play for Pokemon Soul Silver. Let's go over here, see what's up. Lately, I don't see people coming from Goldenrod City. Plants are also living things. They would want to move around from time to time. I've never seen a plant move, but hey, only in the wind. An odd tree is blocking the way to Actic City. It is, it's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Yo, haven't you had trouble with a boulder blocking your way? Of course you have. For people like you, there's an THM that will come in to the rescue. Oh, you get it right now. What the fuck? Alright. It contains make him faint rock smash. You can even use it to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City gym badge. But beware, hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. You should think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. None, because I'm not using Rock Smash, ever. Did you see that strange tree in the road? That may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. Or maybe it's just boring as crap, so nobody wants to be here to begin with. Pseudo Woodo. I mean, if I had a Totodile, I could just water gun. Wait, Ludicolo! <laughs> this is the ruins of Alf, an ancient tradition made of stones. So don't you wonder who'd make something like this and why? No. I don't care. Now come to the ruins of Alf. First machine, I'll go into this house. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. There must be keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. The ruins are about 1,500 years old. That's all we know about them. I'm surprised if Ubisoft hasn't made a non-Assassin's Creed game about it. God, I hate that franchise now. But it's not known why they were built or by who. I fucking hate Assassin's Creed nowadays, dude. It's not even Assassin's Creed. I was playing Valhalla and I was like, Oh, this is a cool Viking game. Completely forgetting it was Assassin's Creed in the first place. It's like, oh, right. Assassin's Creed. Right. Bravo, a promising youth who's about to start the journey of archaeology has just arrived. If you have a, uh, if you have an Arceus with a, uh, faithful encounter, I think, you could come here and see a pretty cool cutscene. What? Just a visitor? Oh, I see. You got me excited for nothing. Okay. Well, he's disappointed in me. Let's unlock the first one. Welcome to this chamber. We are reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone panels. You can rotate stone panels pieces by touching them for a very short time. If you touch the piece and slide it, you can, you can move it around. We think we should be able to put them back to how they were. What's this say? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have that thing. Fuck. In a bit. <laughs> God damn it. This is... Fuck. Go, 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 must get the escape rope. One escape rope, please. Run back, run back, run back, come on. Here we go. Alright, nothing of value was lost that day. I need to use an escape rope in here. Got an orange berry. A pecha berry. Or pecha berry, I guess. I don't know. An energy powder. A heal powder. And a hole. Oh my god. That. Alright then, let's see here. There we go. Our clad engraved words in this place. 
Seems like it, yep. And that's why I fell down here. Ah, well. There are no wild Pokemon because I haven't done the first thing yet. You. There's a big room, but there's nothing here. Yet. This place has a myth mystical quality to it, or a historical quality, or an eerie quality, or an ancient quality, or a solemn quality, or a frosty quality. In essence, it sort of feels ethereal. But no matter what, this place is quality. It's the only thing I truly understood. I don't actually remember if I did the whole Ruins of Alf storyline. I think I forgot to do it. Now about you. Alright, this Pokemon hides on the seafloor and watches the shore with its eyes on its back. Oh wait, now I have to do this. No. Uh... There you go. I knew I had them all in the right spot, but I forgot if I had them in the right areas. I fell! I've broken me legs! Oh, fuck you. Did you just come from above? So, you must have solved the stone panel puzzle. It's wonderful. You seem to have some talents with archaeology. I will give you this unknown report. It records unknown as you capture them. I'm, I'm sure it'll come in handy. No, it won't. Oh, fuck. Well, what's wrong with you? I will immediately leave this place. No. <laughs> no. I feel a strange presence. Escape roping out. None of this crap. Oh god, I'm back here. <laughs> I did not know that was gonna happen. Alright then, let's go down. I think I'll do this stuff later on in the game. Once I'm further along in this game. Ooh, people. There are drawings on the st on stone panels. I tried moving them. I wonder what they are. The ruins of Alf, a look and touch tour site. Try the sliding stone panels. You're studying the ruins? I see a scientist in the making. No, I'm a Pokemon champion. Well, I'm the strongest Pokemon trainer in the making. I'm also seeing that the time has come for us to say goodbye. Wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. A miracle seed. Thanks, I actually want that. Helpful for my Chikorita. But this shall be the end so far, so... I shall be saving the game immediately. Thank you all so very much for watching. Once again, I'm sorry that I'm doing this again, but we'll get through it as fast as possible, and then we'll get to the good stuff. Anyway, but with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed, and if you... I hope you guys have enjoyed, if you did, please like button, subscribe if you're new, or if you've not done so already, turn on notifications, and as always, stay there for more. Bye!